Hello everybody, it's Magwan. I'm here with a 2009 LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're taking a look at the Corporate Lions Tank Droid, set number 7748. It has 216 pieces, includes two jetpack minifigures, uh, excuse me, two clone jetpack troopers, and then two droid or two battle droids. So, um, minifigure wise and piece wise and set wise in general, this set is actually pretty poor. <laughs> There's not a lot to say about it, this is, which is why uh, the review is going to be quick. But honestly, this was a very small set released at the time. And, you know, just going to the toy store, going to Walmart, whatever, uh, and then getting this set was kind of nice. But otherwise, there wasn't really a big drive to get this except for the jetpack uh, trooper pieces, which obviously was kind of nice. Um, and if you were, at the time, if you were building like your droid army or anything, this was very nice set to get. It was a $20 set, um, actually $25, wow, <laughs> they really pushed it. But it was, it was a nice set to get because, you know, you would get two clone troopers, two battle droids, and then this vehicle, which we saw a bit throughout the Clone Wars and we did see it in Star Wars Episode 3, so um, a memorable-ish vehicle. Uh, but the, the problem with this one is that it's much smaller compared to the other two versions, which obviously I'll compare at the end. Um, so yeah, so the clone jetpack troopers, we get two of those, they are identical, it's exactly like, it's just the Clone Wars clone troopers with the jetpack piece on them, uh, so, you know, a nice minifigure, nice touch, but still nothing new, and then we get two battle droids, it's the same ones as always, so, you know, you kind of just know what you're getting. Um, with that said, minifigure-wise, there's not much to say about this, it was released in 2009, um, and it was themed Star Wars The Clone Wars, and um, really, that's that's all that there is to this set. So I'll go ahead and show you what the corporate lines tank droid can do. Honestly, if you really want to get this set, the only reason why I would understand um, you getting this set uh, and not the newer versions, which are very superior, uh, it's definitely um, <laughs> I'm thinking of, some, of of a reason to actually get this set, and I would say that it's probably to get this printed piece, which is great for mocks, um, and that's I feel like the biggest highlight of this set is this piece which I'm even going to go ahead and show you before I show you the fun features because I feel like it's the most important part about this set and what really sold this set is that a lot of people who love doing mocks just yeah there you go, you have a good look at it um, and it's a very nice piece and I believe that on Bricklink a lot of people are selling or buying this piece for mocks um, because it, it works so well. Now the set does look pretty good compared to what it's supposed to look like, uh, but the issue with it is that it is tiny. Uh, I mean, here's a minifigure next to it. I mean, it's just, it's tiny. <laughs> Especially when you compare it to the other versions of it where uh, I, I believe the 2005 version you could even put a minifigure in it, um, and then the newer version just is simply the same, about the same size, but just bigger. So, um, the track, you know how this works. If you if you just move it, it's not going to move by itself unless you have like a really rough surface. Um, so you do have to kind of just move it by yourself. But it does work pretty well. It's a pretty nice system. The tracks are nice. Uh, here's a look at the front. This is how these things are attached. So, you know, not too much to go on about there. They can move around, so you can definitely have some sort of just like you know, getting on top of some surface. Um, these are flick fire missiles, which I believe I've shot the entire gun. <laughs> um, but you know, it's these old Lego flick fire missiles where you actually just shoot the entire barrel. Um, I have been complaining about those in the past, and I still am. Um, it's it's a nice fun feature. You're definitely having some fun with this, um, but really, that's the only fun feature. It's shooting this flick fire missile and really having this tank to combat your your ATTE walkers or just your Republic walkers. So it's a nice set to have because they don't often give us anything to really combat our really huge Republic troop carriers like uh, you know the turbo tank and the ATT. We never really have anything to combat those apart from uh, just a $50 AAT that was at the time. So it was a nice little set to get at the time. Just you know go ahead get this but it's nothing big. There's no reason to go back and get this except for you know really Star Wars collectors and maybe people who want to get um, these pieces. So, obviously you can move a bit the eyes and stuff if you really wanted to. That's about it. Other side is identical. And 
Uh, before I finish off, LEGO did give us um, <laughs> just a few more bricks to make this. And you're asking yourself, what the heck is this? I've asked myself, what the heck is this for like a very long time? And it does have a use, um, it does have a purpose. It's obviously, we're getting jetpack troopers. So it's a very early design for what they have now in this Marvel and superheroes theme, um, where you just like flick your minifigure. So if you want to have your jetpack clone trooper here, and you know, he's going to go ahead and attack in the air this tank. Um, that's kind of the, the idea going on. Doesn't really work that well, doesn't really have much of a purpose. I would just, you know, fly him around with my hand if I had to, to play with this set. But really, like, it's it's been fun to just flick your minifigures around as a child, but there's no real point with this. Um, I really feel like they just want to add more pieces, add something to this set. Because <laughs> they were just like, oh my god, this set is so bad, <laughs> there's nothing to do with it. Okay, so I do want to do a little quick comparison because obviously uh, it would be kind of unfair to give you guys a review but not compared to the newer versions or the older version. Um, so let's go ahead and you know quickly get this over with, I guess, in a way. Um, here's the new 2013 version. This is the 2009 version, I believe. So obviously you can tell that there is a pretty big size difference. Um, although this central like this central piece is the same. This one has just so much detail and so much going on for the back and this, you know, it has a very nice design. This is much more bland, more ugly. I mean, it's a very similar design, a very close resemblance, um, but there's just less to it. It's just a downgraded version. Although one could argue that this one has the better printed pieces and this one is just lacking detail. So, you know, that's kind of up to you, but um, if I had to put them next to each other, this one can pretty much completely hide behind the other one. Um, and if I had to put them like this, you can definitely tell that this one, um, you know, has more space behind it and it's just bigger. Um, so that's it with that one, but I do have the 2005 version and this one is my favorite. And the reason why it's my favorite is because it has more detail, it looks better, and in general, it's just bigger. <laughs> so yeah. So, you know, it's completely bigger, it's not as accurate, it has a lot of flaws, especially color flaws and all that stuff. But I forgive LEGO for uh, for back in the time, and especially what I like about this one is that you can, even though it's not accurate, you can open this set up and fit a minifigure inside. So, you know, that's kind of cool, actually. That, that's pretty cool. And this one, what they did is that they actually put the, thread, the threads one stud lower than the rest of the entire set, which obligates the set to work with the treads, so you know, it doesn't work that well, obviously, but it still has the threads moving, which the other two versions never have the threads moving unless you're moving them yourself. Uh, so that's uh, the big plus to the older version. Of course, here's a look. They don't have, you know, the best. This one doesn't has, have the best look. This one is, looks a bit more sleek in a way. So yeah. So guys, that is going to be it uh, for a little comparison. I feel like I've taken too much time talking about this set. Uh, so let's, you know, let's move these little sets off to the side and get to a little conclusion on this one. So yeah, so uh, this is a set that I've enjoyed as a child because, you know, at the time, I got it for very cheap um, and I got this and I played with this. So, you know, obviously it was a nice set at the time, but it's nothing worth going back for if you're a collector and you want to get every single LEGO Star Wars set, then maybe get this set. Um, if you're looking for, the, for these parts, they're definitely very nice and very good for mocks. Otherwise, that is it to this LEGO Star Wars set. So guys, thanks for watching my review. Please leave some comment and feedback in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time here on Mouse Channel for another great LEGO Star Wars video. Bye-bye.